Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss why a singular matrix cannot have inverse. So a singular matrix, a matrix uh, which ha has determinant zero. So let me take an example. Let's say we are having a matrix one, two, four, eight. So if you calculate determinant of this matrix, let's say this matrix is A. So the determinant of this matrix is zero. So this is a singular matrix. As you can see, uh, all columns or all rows of this matrix are not independent. So what we are going to uh, see here, we are going to assume that this singular matrix has a inverse or we are assuming that it actually exists. So we are going to see this existence and so this is actually a contradictory approach. So we are assuming that A inverse exists. Now what we need to do, we need to find a x which gives us 0 when we multiply it with A. So if I take uh, minus 2, 1, if I take this x, so when you multiply this one with this, so let me show you the multiplication. 4, 8, minus 2, 1. So when we multiply what, sorry, this is plus 1, not minus 1. So what we will get, minus 1, plus 2, minus 8, plus 8. So it gives us 0, 0. So here uh, there exists a x which is non-zero. Okay, so this x is non-zero, and uh, this x when multiplied with a, it gives us zero. And we are saying we are assuming that a inverse exists for singular matrix. So what we will do, we will multiply with a inverse both the sides. Now, if zero is multiplied with any matrix, it always will be zero. And here A inverse A, this is a identity matrix. So when identity matrix is multiplied with any matrix, so in this case this is a vector, so it will be same as X. So we assume this thing that A inverse exists and what we have concluded that X equal to 0. But as you can see here, X is not 0. So whatever we have assumed is not True. So that's why A inverse for singular matrix, singular matrix doesn't exist. Thank you very much for watching.